Do you struggle to differentiate yourself in the crowded space that is real estate? In my local market, there are 17,000 real estate agents, and that's up from 5,000 just seven years ago. And so when I got into the business, there were 15,000 agents. It went down to 5,000 during the Great Recession years, and now it's back up to 17 thousand agents and there really only needs to be a couple thousand agents so in a commodity market we don't like to call it a commodity market but truly real estate is a commodity market by the public we're perceived as a commodity right every one of your friends knows multiple real estate agents because we're all super annoying we're all over social media bragging about this or that or you know, image and brand advertising, and we're missing the market when it comes to differentiating yourself and really identifying your X factor and being able to communicate that in a way where we're not doing me monster advertising. So a me monster is like everything is about themselves and that's the opposite of how we scale a real estate business. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I wanna take you through a special training I did which will take you through the five steps you need to go through to achieve a business over a million in GCI that you're not giving your life away. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you're the first to know when a new video drops and also leave me comments as well. So when I think about differentiating yourself and you know commodity, that real estate agents really and truly, when I first got into the business, the one thing I did right, I had certainty around the fact that consumers didn't care about me. I was one of thousands of options that they could use uh, for their real estate services. And so from like my first year in real estate, I knew that I had to put together my, my branding and my marketing in such a way where folks were attracted to me. And the only way to do that is to stop making out, you know, you as the hero in your business. Agents are notorious for everything you see is like, I'm number one, I'm the best. Look at this, you know, glamour shot, right? It has nothing to do with clients. So there was a powerful book, I think it's called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. You know, when I read that book and it, it talks about uh, a seven step framework to, yeah, and, and he used movies as the backdrop. If you read that book and you watch a movie, you can sort of see like how things happen in a movie. And he actually used Tommy Boy as one of the examples where, you know, we have a problem, you know, somebody has a problem. So Tommy Boy in this example had a problem, the plant was failing, he had to, you know, a, a decision point where a guide came along, David Spade I think it was, came along, he was the guide, and he was gonna go with Tommy uh, on this road trip, and they were gonna save the plant, right? And if, if it was saved, this is what would happen, and if it wasn't, this is what would happen, and there was an evil you know, person working against them, the, the, you know, the spouse or the widow of Tommy's dad. And so it was scripted perfectly against this framework, and it's the same in business, right? We have someone who has a problem. It's not, hey, I'm awesome, look how awesome I am, and then hopefully that might connect with you. That doesn't connect with somebody that has a problem. They have a home to sell, they have to relocate, their home failed to sell, there's some problem they have. You show up as a guide, where the only way to do that is to show them examples of folks you've helped in the past, and to show them that you have a proven system to, to guide them through their situation, and if they don't use your proven system, there's a chance that things could go poorly. They could expire again. They could you know, get less money for their home. They could have something bad happen and a legal consequence afterwards, right? There's all these bad things that could really happen if you don't go with the right agent. The good thing that can happen is your home could sell quicker, sell for more money. The process could be as hassle-free as possible. And here's the process for you to get started, right? And then do an amazing job, have all your client care systems revolve around the fact that you have to provide this amazing experience so that they're going to sing your praises. You use those testimonials, that social proof. The client care systems generate the social proof and that gives your, you the ability to market those, um, those testimonials up front. And it's this virtuous cycle of, you know, people see how awesome you are from past clients, not from you saying it, right? We have like 
1,200 five-star online reviews. Once we understood the power of, you know, the, the, the hero being the client, everything shifted over to social proof as our number one lead gen lever, and then client care as a lead gen lever. So those are the most two powerful lead gen levers in your business. And if, if I go to your market and I type, type best real estate agent, you know, any town, you know, in whatever state, right? You need to make sure you have a strategy to show up through all the kind words that your past clients have, have showed you. If you go to best real estate agent, Charlotte NC, high performance real estate advisors will be there because we have thoughtfully positioned ourselves with words from our blown away, knock their socks off clients about how we handled with care and due diligence and an emotional experience that we brought just a ton of value, but also just made them feel safe and cared for. So if you're at the point in your journey where you wish there was just a step-by-step -step training that could help you understand like what are the critical elements to go from you know struggling in your real estate business, whether you're a solo uh, agent, a top producer, or running a team, there are specific steps that you need to go through uh, to be able to build a business that's a million plus in GCI that will give you the leverage to be able to make more money, experience more freedom, and have more impact in your family and in your community, just go to realestatebusinessfreedom.com. That's realestatebusinessfreedom.com or click on the link below. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. Also turn notifications on when you subscribe to the channel and make sure you leave comments. You know, this journey uh, from struggling uh, agent to business owner, you know, it's not the easy path, but I would argue that traditional success is not worth having because it doesn't lead to a life worth living. We'll see you in the next video.